to start the show. Man, we got a damn good show today, man. It's a damn good show. We got some proof, man, that the Democrats, that they're hypocrites. We got it. We got them, man. You act like this is something new. If you pay attention, everybody knows they're hypocrites. <laughs> they do I've been this. facetious. Yeah, they do this on a daily basis. Yeah. The only people that don't realize that Democrats yeah. are hypocrites yeah. is the yeah. sheep. Don't call them that, man. You're being too hard on them, man. Call them constituent. Sheep. Damn, man. You shouldn't do that, man. You're talking down to people. I mean, the hypocrisy from Democrats. I mean, yeah. it's been on full display for years. Yeah, do as I say, not as I do, man. Yeah, and it's like, you know what? I didn't even know. Here's the video of Nancy. She's in a, a salon up in San Francisco. I had no idea that y'all are still closed down when it comes to salons. What yeah. are y'all waiting on to open up? <laughs> These people that work there, they got livelihood. What? I mean, That damn. don't make no damn sense. I'm here in Vegas. The barbers are open. Salons are open. Gyms are open. Why is salons closed in San Francisco? Keep this in mind. 160,000 deaths have been attributed to coronavirus. Yeah. 6% of those deaths, around 9,500 lives, Yeah. the sole purpose in that death was COVID. You think about that. Y'all still closed for this virus? Y'all can't go out, you salon owners, you entrepreneurs, y'all can't go out and provide for your families while this lady can walk in because she's speaking of the house and do whatever she want to do. <laughs> and this lady has criticized Republicans, yeah. the president, for not wearing masks, how, they, how the president has got people killed in this country because of this virus. And look at what she doing. I'm not even mad, Nancy, you got your hair done. Yeah. I don't even care. I'm still wondering why this is a story. Why? Because San Francisco is ran by Democrats. Y'all yeah. still closed. Yeah. I, and, you, and you speak of the house, only you get to go in there and get your hair done. I didn't even know that was a hair, man. I thought that was a wig. That's a nice damn wig if it is. <laughs> no, it's not a wig. It's a hair. I thought it was a wig, man. <laughs> like, I don't care that you, you got your hair done. Yeah. What you get? You got your hair washed and a blowout. <laughs> you could have did that at the house. I think she got it trimmed, too. Uh, you could. I mean, if this pandemic is so dangerous, why are you up in a salon with no mask, getting your hair done? People's out of work because of this virus. Yeah, because you, of the government in the areas, they, the salons are not even open. Hey, look, they gon' they finna open up September first, but they gotta be outside. She said, "I ain't waiting for all that. I'm going inside to get my hair washed and blowed out." Nancy, you got a lot of explaining to do. I went to her Twitter. I thought she was going to issue an apology. Nope. She issued this statement. He just would not accept the science, the science, the science. The science that says you must test, tra trace, treat. You must wear your mask. You must have sanitation. You must have social distancing. What, what bigger sign of disdain and defiance of science could the president have had but to have all those people gathered on the White House lawn Sitting next to each other, no social distancing, rarely anyone with a mask. I'm like, man, lady, come on. Her looking great, though. Her looking good. You are walking <laughs> advertisement for <laughs> East Salon <laughs> in San Francisco. When they open back up, make sure. Yeah. I'll go over and get your hair did. Yeah, man, give them a big portrait of you, Nancy. Sign it. Put it up on the wall, man. All kinds of liberals are going in and get their hair done. <laughs> What a shame, Nancy. What a shame. I mean, for weeks, months, she's been criticizing Republicans for not wearing masks. You up in a hair salon, and how old is Nancy? Is she over 70? I think she in the 90s, man. No, man. She's she's up there. I don't I, think 90. She look 90. No, she don't. She's uh she look <laughs> she, she look about 90 something. <laughs> she don't. She look about like she's in her 70s. Man, that woman ain't in a damn seven. That woman's 90-something. <laughs> well, 70, 90, they all look the same. But anyway. No, nah, I'm here. just kidding, man. I'm just, no, I was, I'm sorry. You look like you in your uh, 80s. You look about 89. 
<laughs> look, seriously. Look, and this virus, okay, a hundred over hundred six thousand deaths, right? I mean, this is from the CDC. I'm not, I'm not making this up. Yeah, yeah. The CDC. Of those one hundred six thousand deaths, we talked about this yesterday. A hundred and thirty thousand of those one hundred six thousand deaths. It's Nancy's age. It's Nancy's age or older. Man, you are reckless, woman. The I majority mean, of the deaths in, from COVID has been people just like you. But you know why she's in there with no mask on? Because she's seen those same CDC numbers I saw. Mm. Only 6% of the 160,000 deaths that's been attributed to COVID. Yeah. The sole purpose and why those deaths happened, those 6% of the deaths mm. has been attributed to yeah. only COVID. Right. She knows that. Yeah. 9,500 deaths, that's what we locked down this country for. Yeah. 9,500. Of course, one life is important. Yeah. But 9,500. Yeah. You know how many people die in this country every day? From flu? They ain't, nobody cared. Like the swan flu? From back? AIDS? Like, <laughs> let's stick to some. I mean, why didn't you lock down the country? People is dying from AIDS. Y'all need to lock the country down. Need yeah. to put stuff around people's pelvic region so they won't have sex. Yeah, everybody needs to wear a mask over their pelvis and sex. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Like when Obama was in office, the swine flu? Yeah. Y'all didn't shut down the country. Didn't shut down nothing, man. Somebody oh. in that salon is a rat. You thought they was your friend. No, they Trump supporter. <laughs> <laughs> they leaked that tape straight to Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> There's a mole inside of that salon there, uh, yeah. Nancy. But, I mean, I'm thinking people are starting to open their eyes up. I man, mean, like, them damn sheep ain't opening up to nothing. Them people are morons. The, the homeless problem in Nancy's district is insane. They're, like, everywhere. There's needles lying on the street. People taking dumps on the street. Hey, it's liberal heaven. I mean, this place, I've been to some parts in San Francisco, and I've been to TJ as well. Yeah. So, is that race if I say that? If you think it is, don't even say it. <laughs> You don't know That's how to not eat. racist because I've been like. Well, yeah, to us conservatives, but liberals, they simply disagree with you. They call you a racist, man. Well, I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to give you from my, um, I don't care. I'm saying it. I've been to San Francisco some of these areas. When I went and visited, when I was in the Marine Corps down in San Diego, I went to TJ. Yeah. Some of these places in San Francisco look like TJ. Man. Tijuana. I've seen some places in TJ. Look better in San Francisco, where all the rich white people live. In TJ, yeah, got all that damn white privilege up in the mountains. <laughs> the white people to retire in Mexico. They retired. I'm going to TJ. It's cheap down here. I don't know why these people trying to come in our country. <laughs> Man, y'all got it made here. I bought this mansion for twenty dollars. <laughs> the hell, you want to go to San Francisco and pay two million dollars for a damn crack house <laughs> and pay all them taxes? Because it's America? Man, y'all need to. Hey. Trump 2020. Yeah. Go to officialharshtwins.com and pick you out a patriotic t shirt today. Hell, I'm even giving you 20% off. Just type in discount code Chinese Virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. We making t shirts great again. Yeah.